So I just got back in from the Brennan <laughs> conference, but I'm going to show y'all something because there's, there's a lot of cops out here watching me, right? And so people don't think that I'm paranoid and stuff. I just stepped in my car, but look at this cop. I got to turn off the camera. See him sitting right over there. Okay. Don't be surprised if I pull off and they jump behind me. Just so people can see for yourself. And I think it's the cop that originally pulled me over March the 25th because he was out here for this press conference. In which I don't have a problem with him. I mean, it is what it is. We still shouldn't be working for him. But just pay attention. smart thing right here. This is the smart thing to do. Look, here they go. Look at this. Yeah, come down Umbro, the cop says, yeah, they, they were scheming. They were scheming. Now, Pete, this is the on tape, so everybody don't think I'm paranoid. This is, see, I told y'all, what did I tell you? Target, target. Fifteen, car number fifteen, thirteen. Original cop that stopped me too. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. You can't get anything to your supervisor. Get here. You guys sat across the street and watched me, and that's on tape, and it's about to go viral too. So you're on camera. I'm audio and video recording. I don't feel safe. You guys sat in the corner and watched me till I pulled off. That's on video. And I'm requesting that you send your supervisor immediately. I do not feel safe. Sir, what are you pulling me over for? You're pulling me over for tenant windows? All right, I have a temp permit for my vehicle, in which you already know that because your buddy right here is from the March 25th stop that originally stopped me. So I won't be providing any information to you until your supervisor gets here. I feel threatened, so I'm asking you to call for your supervisor, please. I'm asking you for a second time, sir, to call for your supervisor, please. Sir, you don't have a valid reason to stop my vehicle. I'm asking you to please call for your supervisor for the fourth time. Sir, I'm not providing any information until you call for your supervisor. Your stop is not even valid because you turned around and you pulled my vehicle over after watching my car. You guys waited for me to leave. I watched you. It's on tape. Sir, I'm not stepping out the car until you don't have a right to open my door, sir. You don't, you don't have a right to open my door, sir. So I'm asking that you call your supervisor for your safety and my safety. Call your supervisor, please. Okay. I'm not refusing to comply. I do not feel safe. I'm, I'm not refusing to comply. I'm not refusing to comply. You can shut my door and there's the tip permit right there for the vehicle right there. You can pick it up. Sir, there's the tip permit for the vehicle. There's the tip permit for the vehicle, sir. Matter of fact, just because I'm operating a motor vehicle, I'm going to give you my license, but you can call for your supervisor. Can you shut my door, please? Can you shut my door, please? Alright, just so the sake 
so I won't get shot, okay? I'm going to give them my registration, and I'm going to give them the insurance and my temp permit for the vehicle. But as you can see, like I started recording before I even got in my car, and you seen them sitting across the street waiting to stop my car. As I told you, I'm already a target by Philadelphia police. So for the sake of being smart and to avoid a confrontation, I'm going to give up my registration and the insurance card too, just for the sake of not getting shot. Registration. Are you going to call for your supervisor, yes or no? Are you going to call for your supervisor, yes or no? Okay. Insurance card. And just so everybody can see this, I'm reaching for my cell phone. Cell phone? Okay. This is the officer right here from March 25th who originally stopped my car. So you guys can see him. All right? Yeah. And as you see on the tape, they sat over in the parking lot. They targeted my car and waited for me to pull off and then pulled the vehicle over. We don't know who's in this vehicle. Yes, you do. No, with the temp. There you go. And here he is right here on the car cam, so I'm going to turn it this way too so you can see it. And let me turn it this way. All right? There we go. Same permit is right there. So you still have my door open. I'm requesting that you close my door on the vehicle. Okay. Just for the sake, okay, of not getting shot, because you already see, and I'm, I'm gonna put this directly online, okay, is that I'm targeted by these cops. I'm at a press conference for Brandon Tate Brown. I'm audio and video record. I don't feel safe. You guys sat in the corner and watched me till I pulled off. That's on video. And I'm requesting that you send your supervisor immediately. I do not feel safe. Sir, what are you pulling me over for? First, you got tinted windows. You're pulling me over for tinted windows? All right, I have a temp permit for my vehicle, which you already know that because your buddy right here is from the March 25th stop that originally stopped me. So I won't be providing any information to you until your supervisor gets here. I feel threatened, so I'm asking you to call for your supervisor. Okay, I'm asking you for a second time, sir, to call for your supervisor, please. Sir, you don't have a valid reason to stop my vehicle. I'm asking you to please call for your supervisor for the fourth time. So you're refusing to provide information? Sir, I'm not providing any information until you call for your supervisor. Your stop is not even valid because you turned around and you pulled my vehicle over after watching my car. You guys waited for me to leave. I watched you. It's on tape. Uh, sir, I'm not stepping out the car until you, you don't have a right to open my door, sir. You, you, don't, you don't have a right to open my door, sir. So I'm asking that you call your supervisor for your safety and my safety. Call your supervisor, please. I'm not refusing to comply. I do not feel safe. I'm, I'm not refusing to comply. You're refusing to comply. I'm right? not refusing to comply. Oh, well, then I need you to step out. You can shut my door, and there's the temp permit right there for the vehicle right okay. there. You can pick it up. Nice sir, there's the temp permit for the vehicle. Nice there's the temp permit for the vehicle, sir. Matter of fact, just because I'm operating a motor vehicle, I'm going to give you my license, but you can call for your supervisor. Can you shut my door, please? Shut my door, please. All right, just so to say, so I won't get shot, okay? I'm going to give them my registration, and I'm going to give them the insurance and my temp permit for the vehicle. But as you can see, like I started recording before I even got in my car, and you seen them sitting across the street waiting to stop my car. As I told you, I'm already a target by Philadelphia police. So for the sake of being smart and to avoid a confrontation, I'm going to give up my registration and the insurance card, too, just for the sake of not getting shot. Registration. Are you going to call for your supervisor, yes or no? Are you going to call for your supervisor, yes or no? Okay. Insurance card.
just so everybody can see this, I'm reaching for my cell phone. Cell phone? Okay. This is the officer right here from March 25th who originally stopped my car. So you guys can see him. All right? Yeah. And as you see on the tape, they sat over in the parking lot. They targeted my car and waited for me to pull off and then pull the vehicle over. Yes, you do. Yeah, you do. Here he is right here on the car cam, so I'm going to turn it this way, too, so you can see it. And let me turn it this way. All right? There we go. 10 per minute is right there. Sir, you still have my door open. I'm requesting that you close my door on the vehicle. Okay. Just for the sake, okay, of not getting shot, because you already see, and I'm, I'm gonna put this directly online, okay, is that I'm targeted by these cops. I'm at a press conference for Brandon Tate Brown, okay, targeted by these police officers who sat over in the corner, waited for me to pull off, and then pulled me over, which is the original officer from the March 25th stop, okay? So keep that in mind, my iPhone is recording, and in addition to that, um, my car cams are going too. And let me call, let me turn one back here so you can see them behind me. No, call 911 for a supervisor. That's the cop that stopped me March the 25th. They targeted me, bro. They were sitting behind the bank and turned around and pulled my car over. I got it all on tape. They were scheming on me. And he tried to pull me out the car again, but for the sake of not getting shot, I just gave him my information. But I need somebody to call for a supervisor. Thank you. You seen that, right? You seen it. They was, that's the cop that stopped me on March the 25th. That's the cop that stopped me March the 25th. They targeted my car. It's all on tape. Exactly. Exactly. Yo, somebody call 911 and call for a white shirt. I need a supervisor here. Exactly. Exactly. I got it on tape. I said it when I got in my car. It's on tape. I got it on tape. It's all on tape. Yeah, but I'm paranoid and I bait police though, right? This is what I want everybody to see. I'm paranoid and I bait police. Sometimes you got to pick and choose your battles and be smart because I'm already a target for the, for, for the sake of not getting shot. And now there's people here you know what I'm saying? But for the sake of not getting shot, okay, here go a bunch of witnesses that seen this. Whole crowd of people. All right? I told you, target. I'm a target. Exactly. That's the same dude from March the 25th, and what he did, they switched seats so his partner could pull me over. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. They don't get enough. Like, they don't really get enough of this. Like, come on, is you serious? Exactly. It's all on tape, man. I told you, bro. I already, I already know what's going on with these cops, man. 15th Police District. No, I'm not cool because they schemed on me, yo. And I'm glad y'all here. Like they sat behind the bank, they sat behind the bank and turned around and gonna pull me over for no reason.
Exactly. 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 I call, I had already pulled over. I already pulled over before before he even got behind me. He had no reason to jump behind me in the first place. So this whole stop is, is in the way. It should have never happened. Everything. Everything. Yeah, I called for you, sir. You're, you're a supervisor? Okay. Your officers are making an illegal traffic stop. I got into my vehicle. I did nothing wrong. It's all on tape. I got car cams, and I, in addition to that, my cell phone's been recording. Your officers targeted me, sat behind a bank, waited till I pulled off, and then pulled up behind me super fast. In addition to that, I was already pulled over, and your officers was probably about a block or a half a block back and I was attempting to get ready to exit my vehicle and they came up and threw their emergency lights on. If you're familiar with who I am already, the officer that's sitting in the passenger seat, the African-American male, okay, is the original officer from the March 25th traffic stop. I'm being profiled and targeted by your police officers. It's all on tape and it's already online because I got an instant upload. So it's already online as to what your officers did. I called you here because I do not feel safe. He tried to order me out of my vehicle for no reason and for the sake of not getting shot, I gave him my information and my paperwork. But there's no reason whatsoever that I have to sit here and fear for my life with you guys who wear a uniform and who have sworn to protect and serve and is either comply or die. Since when do, do African-American individuals become a target, sir? And I'm calling for him to call for his supervisor over and over and over, and he didn't call, and someone had the call that was a bystander. This is an illegal traffic stop, sir. He has no right to stop my vehicle for anything after I'm already pulled over. It's all on tape, and this is the second time around. I'm not going to keep being targeted by the 15th District. It's not going to keep happening. Well, be that as it may, as you stop for equipment violation standards, tenant windows, and... You Third brake light's not visible. You're saying that my so third brake light is not visible, need, sir. You need to address. Sir, first of all, wish to get stopped. all right, let me explain something to you. Your officers were nowhere near my, when you watch this video, when you watch this video later on, when you, when you watch this video online later, you'll see that your officers were nowhere near my vehicle. They was not even behind my vehicle to sit here and say that my brake light. So listen, everybody, it's, it's now my brake light is not vi visible. And then my tent, when I already have a tent permit for my vehicle. Here we go again with the same nonsense with Philadelphia police and a Philadelphia police supervisor who's standing right here, okay, telling me, what did you just tell me? You said my issues are with traffic Your court? tent permit is not valid. It's not valid? How is it not, not valid? valid? Tell me why. They do not issue tent permits. They don't issue tent permits? No. So what is that? That's something that you made up. Oh, that's something I made up? It is. Oh, is it? It is. Okay, you, you guys hear this? See now, see what I'm gonna do now. When he give it back to me, to I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a picture. Standards, sir. sir, I'm talking, excuse and me. Issue, All right. Any issue you Listen, have. I'm with tired the of you stop, guys. I'm tired of being nice. You're court. not gonna tell me that I made it okay. up because it came from so PennDOT. Yeah, you can stay right here until your officers give me my paperwork back and I leave. Thank you. Tired of y'all. Black Lives Matter. No justice! No peace. No justice. No peace. No racist. No justice. No peace. No racist. No racist. Black lives matter. I'm tired of this, man. I'm tired of being nice. You gonna talk about he can't see my brake light? Exactly. Exactly. My, my, my stuff is not violent, right? Yeah, okay. Picture that. And for all you guys and y'all critics that watch this stop, I'm tired of being nice. I, I really am. Don't talk to me about being humble. Don't talk to me about, okay, the police, this and the third, because they out of control. I did absolutely nothing wrong. They're out of control. You will be angry too if you're a target by the police department. And every single time as you get pulled over, okay, something like this takes place and happens. So here's another video that goes viral. And Philadelphia police are out of line. You be the judge for yourself. Because not only in addition to this, you're going to have the car cams for this. You're going to have my cell phone video in addition to that too. 
that proves I did absolutely nothing wrong and I called this stop way before it was even getting ready to happen. The same police officer from March the 25th, targeted by Philadelphia police. You tell me. Next, I'll be getting out of my car for some bogus stuff, right? Yeah, picture that. I'm tired of being professional with these people, man. Enough is enough, like, seriously. I wanna hear that. Save your professionalism. And they thought my license was suspended. That's what it is because they're in conjunction with the Philadelphia court system to keep writing these bogus tickets for, for, for nonsense. It's, it's foolishness, it's nonsense. It's something that I made up, okay? Something I made up, right. Whoever's watching this too, remember something, okay? You gotta pick and choose your battles. Pick and choose your battles. It's the only reason I just went on and gave them my stuff, yo, seriously, because you pick and choose your battle. They was waiting to shoot me, a reason to pull me out of my car, shoot me and kill me. Like, this is for all the people, right, who said that I bait police and I do all this extra crazy stuff you've seen for yourself. I ain't did nothing wrong, nothing wrong, nothing wrong at all. They sat behind that bank and pulled me over. They knew I was gonna be over there on Frankfurt Avenue for Brandon Tate Brown today. This is why it originally started. I'm targeted by 15th District Police Officers. He wish, he wish. I think my brake lights work good. Somebody need to take a picture of that real quick. Now it's the third brake light ain't visible. Right, right. They want to keep trying to get me out my car. It's crazy. That's all right. I'm going to get out the car, right? When I get out the car, I'm going to take a picture of it. And it, and, it, and it works good. It works fine. Like, it is what it is. Here you come. I'm not being nice no more. Enough is enough. Like, seriously. All right, Mr. Soto, you getting a ticket for your tent? Sir, I don't want to hear about your tickets or anything that you're okay. giving me because it's invalid. I'm not signing anything. Step away from my so, car. You're, you're unprofessional. Yeah. I'm refusing to sign it. Okay. I want all my paperwork back. Get away from my car. Hey, Tired of being nice to y'all. <laughs> now you got your hat on because your supervisor here, right? You feel good wearing that shirt, the blue shirt? Yeah, y'all can take it how y'all want to take it. I don't even care, like seriously. Take it how you want to take it. I'm mad, I'm pissed off. You set this up, Holloway? You set it up? 
you set it up, Mr. Soto? Did you set it up? Did you got nothing better to do? That's crazy, bro. Why are you talking to me? Why are you so angry at me, huh? Not angry at you. Why are you so angry at me? You had you had you had to get back. You had to get back for that March 25th stop. So you had to sit in the cut and pull me over. Is you mad or no? I don't know is if you mad or no? Is you mad or no, bro? Is you mad or no? Mad or no? Personally, police. Mad or no? Oh, I'm, I'm personally what? Huh? Police. Say it again. Police fire. Is, is you mad or no? Your record, Mr. Is you mad or no? Oh, you pull my record, no. huh? Oh no. Not oh, at you, all. yeah, you're mad. Not you're mad, bro. Yeah, you're mad. Yeah, you yeah you're mad. Bro, listen, go ahead with yourself, for real. Like, you just itching to get one off on me. You want me dead, bro. You itching to get one off. Sir, you got this. I don't save your conversation, sir. Give me my license back and have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Am I free to step out of my vehicle after you walk away? After we pull away? Huh? After you walk away. After we pull away? Yeah. After you, oh, so I got to wait till you pull away? Yeah, I bet. Y'all want some get back, right? You want some get back? Yeah, that's what it is. I'm not being nice no more, bro. For real. Y'all disrespectful, seriously. Give me my stuff, yo. Thank you. Get away from my car. Yeah, you too. Yeah, I hear you, Holloway. All right. We done? Thank you. We appreciate y'all work. There we go. Look. Go step on my brake light real quick. Step on my brake light. Step on my brake light. Just so you saw. Bye. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Is you mad? Here go the brake light right here. Brake light. Break. But it's not working though, right? Here we go again. Another video to go viral. World star hip hop. World star, idiot. It's crazy. World star. 